support have you seen from you guys to each other all season, especially kind of since that Philly game and the run you guys have gone since? What do you think has kind of contributed to that atmosphere in the locker room? How do you think that's kind of helped you guys get to where you are today? Well, I, I think we knew from an early stage in this season that uh, we were going to need some grit. And we were going to need to come together as a unit, not only as a unit, but as, as a team when the outside wanted us to be so divided, right? We kind of insulated ourselves, and um, I think that made for some really fun football. And uh, I, I think it really just took the reins away and, and just gave us an, a, the opportunity to play freely, which is hard to do in this league. And uh, it comes from the top, letting you, giving you the opportunity to play free. Um, but then you also do that through preparation and togetherness. Mitch, the journey to this point since you've been here has all looked different every time. No doubt. This one may have been the rockiest of the rows. Um, there's a little more appreciation looking back now. What you guys have to go through to get to this spot? Yeah, I'll do my perspective thinking after the fact. Um, it has been tumultuous at times, to say the least, but uh, you're rarely going to have an easy road to the playoffs, and we're very appreciative of where we are, but at the same time, we have one guaranteed opportunity, somewhat like what we've had the last five weeks. So just trying to take it one moment at a time, get our bodies right, understanding we're going to have to face a very physical AFC North team. That's kind of their brand of football, the AFC North. and. Uh, and we know that if we want to have any sort of success on Sunday, we're going to have to match their physicality and intensity. Mitch, the, uh, the conditions last year against the Bengals in the playoffs weren't great. Mm -hmm. Sounds like there's a possibility that they won't be great again. Do you think back on that game and, and try to maybe take anything from it in terms of how you prepare for this one? Uh, you know, you let the chips fall where they may in regards to the weather. You understand that it could play a role into how you call a game or how a game's called. But... I mean, I think more than anything, you you talk to the equipment staff about your your footwear, because uh, as long as you have your feet underneath you, you have an opportunity to make a block or make a catch. So for us, it'll just be having, <coughs> excuse me, our feet underneath us. Sean talked about how like you evolve as a person, the game evolves, all those things. You talked about grit. Do you feel like this offense? And I'm not trying to compare it to years past, but has a little bit more grit this year. Handle the elements, handle playoff football, handle a more physical style? Uh, I mean, you always like to think you're a great football team, uh, and you always like to think you're battle-tested. We've had to win games in multiple fashions, um, on the ground, for instance. Uh, so you really have a game plan, and then half the battle in the NFL is just – making the appropriate adjustments on the sidelines and, and, and keeping your demeanor when stuff isn't going right or stuff that you thought was going to work isn't expected to work and then having open line of communication and when you're going from there. You guys were moving the ball up and down the field last week and for a couple of different reasons weren't able to finish drive with points, but when you know you got Josh on your side, do you just kind of feel like you're always in the game and there's yeah. a possibility that things are going to turn and, and start working out? Yeah, totally. I think um, talking about playing free when you have Josh at quarterback, you just you know a big play could happen at any moment, and you understand that he can get you out of a lot of trouble that you can put him in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's just he's QB one for a reason, and we we got his back implicitly. What was my vantage point? Well, uh, we got picked pretty good on a tackle, tackle twist, and, uh, and I might have held it a little bit, so I just didn't want to look back at the ref to see, because if you look back, you show guilt. Um, but, I, I mean, what you saw was just a guy who was so resilient, and really when, the, when his number's called, lays all out there for you, and like I said before, gets you out of sticky situations that you, you put him in. No, you really don't think about it that way. Uh, you, you've, you've played enough games now that you've seen different styles of defense, and, um, and you just kind of understand what 
the formula is for that specific week, Matt. You, uh, you said uh, you might have held on that play, third and 13, right? Like, do you ever tell yourself before the snap in a scenario like that, like, do not hold on? A thousand percent, yeah. I don't know if it was a hold. I just, I, I know that if I look back on like a 50 50 ball, it's not great. I don't think it was a hold, to be honest. It, we, it, we just kind of sealed it off. And um, when a defensive lineman falls, uh, you're, you just kind of, yeah, of course. I think when you when you pass the 35 in our instance, you look in the huddle, and what we always talk about is the best thing we can do is end up with points right now. So, I mean, just be smart with the ball. Um, keep your hands inside. Follow the ball. Let's not take unnecessary hits or sacks if we can. I mean, there are certain things you can't control, and, and then we at least give Tyler an opportunity to kick the field goal. This will be Osiris' first playoff. <coughs> No, I don't think it's something they have to totally figure out. I think they'll they know the magnitude of the game. They feel it. It's palpable. Um, I think the thing you have to tell them more often than not is, you know what's worked in the past. Don't change your game or change what you know works because of the stakes. Uh, when you start doing that, is when you get yourself in peculiar situations. So, awesome. Thank you, guys.